Hi! Today I'm going to do a little tutorial about how to make beats using Fruity Loops and today's beat is Testimony by P Square. So I'm just going to keep it simple, we're going to dive in, go really quickly. I'm just going to show you the basics. I'm not going to do the whole beat, I'm just going to do a small section and then it's up to you to play around with it and figure out how you can extend it and do changes and all of that other stuff. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to set the tempo and I've been listening to the song a little bit lately or a lot lately and the tempo is 118, you know, give and take. It could be 120, it could be less, but let, let's go with 119. Yeah, I, I think 119 is a good number. So after the tempo, the first thing you want to do is to program your drums and you can use the drums that come with Fruity Loops if you go under the packs and click on drums you see there's a lot of kick drums and stuff but I found that these drums are um, these drums are good for dance music and rock music and pop and all of that you know if you want if you want drums that you can use for hip-hop and African music you know um, you probably have to download something from the internet and I found this one. It's called Official 2013. That was my alarm. <laughs> and it's called Official 2013 808 Mafia Drum Kit. And I found this one on YouTube, you know, just I went to YouTube and I saw a video and the person explained, you know, whatever. And he had a link in his description. So I just downloaded it and added it to my Fruity Loops. So that's where we're going to be getting our drums from so if you you know it's closed and then if you open it and you click on kicks there's a couple of kicks here that you can choose so um, I think I'm going to go with kick number eight yeah kick number eight sounds pretty good and you so as you see I just turned up the volume and in a lot of these African beats, the kick drum always follows a, a similar pattern. And it's usually, you know, just one drum every four beats, like that. Yeah, and a lot of times to make it easier, we just right click here and take, feel each four steps. And sometimes you want to increase the length of your sequencer to eight and then feel it so you can have like when it's longer you can have changes so the beat doesn't get very monotonous so if you listen to that it goes like this uh, you can add one beat here just to make it different yeah but i'm going to take that off and then we have to use some kind of clap for this beat and the clap that I mean, Fruit Loops cla clap. I think it's designed for dance music. So I'm going to go under the claps and pick one. Um, yeah, I think that one sounds good. Yeah, you can change it later on if you want. But. Yeah, so now I'm just going to try to program the club. I'm not going to do the exact beat the way it was. I'm just going to, you know, do what I remember. If you're, if you're learning, you're not trying to copy, you're just using the beat to learn. So it doesn't matter if we get it exactly. So the beat, the, the club should go something like this. Was something wrong in the last one um, oh this should be eight and there should be one beat here and
yeah i think this clap actually sounds better but we can change it later if you want okay so the next thing we'll do is to find the 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 african drums you know sometimes people use congas or bongos or whatever thing but the key is to find two or three that sound different like one can sound higher one can sound lower and then one can sound in the middle so you can use the three of them to create some variation and i noticed that in this drum kit that i downloaded there weren't enough good um african drums so i found another drum kit from the internet you know it's pretty easy to find you can just google it and you'll find lots of drum kits so under this drum kit if you go on the ninth wonder and you choose percussions you see a lot you see lots of african drums so you just pick three of them and yeah so there you have it one two three uh, maybe i should change that one yeah so okay now I'm just going to program them really quickly. It doesn't have to be exactly how it was in the real song, but you know, it should sound something similar. So let's go. yeah so now we're done with the, the the kick drum the claps and the congas so now we're just going to find some high hats to give a lot of to give that you know the high the the high frequencies to the beat and so we went back to official drum kit and high hats high hats where is where are the high hats Mm. yeah so we can just drag and drop that one there and try to we just right click and take feel each two steps so it just goes you know throughout the whole beat and then if we play it it sounds like this yeah so <clears throat> i'm going to turn down the volume of the the congas because if they're too loud they can just be distracting okay so now the beat has a, a bass a guitar and a couple of strings so now i'm going to do the the guitar let's start with the guitar and i downloaded a bunch of sound fonts you know if you search the internet for sound fonts and you download them and you add them to your fruity loops library you know they will just show up here and i downloaded a whole bunch of sound fonts they're, they're mostly free of charge you don't have to pay for them they're, they're better sounds that you can install in your fruity loops and they cost a lot of money so you can buy those when you want to go professional but while you're learning you know use the free ones they don't cost anything so uh, let's drag this one 103 something something and the good thing about this sound um, font is that it has a lot of sounds inside like you can hear the piano or you can have a whole bunch of instruments i think it has the complete um midi midi whatever so for the guitar we should for the guitar that they use in testimony i think the one that sounds the most like it is the where where are those guitars where are those guitars am i blind or what <laughs> there steel guitar See? 
I'm, I'm terrible at playing the guitar so or at playing the keyboard so I'm just going to do it by hand so I'm just gonna click those in So when you click it, when you click in the, the the individual notes, you can then go in and change the length to make them sound, you know, better. I'm going to track this one out to make it as long as possible. Yeah, so that was pretty simple. And I think if you, you know, it's, it's going to take you a maximum of five minutes to do that. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. So um, now I think we should do the bass. And for the bass, I usually use this plugin. It's called 3X OSC. It's a three times oscillator. There's, there's three oscillators. You can see the first one, the second one, and the third one. And this is used for doing very simple sounds, but I also use it to do my bass lines. So now, when you just load it, this is what it sounds like. And you can change the shape so make it, to make it sound different. So what I usually do is I just turn up the, the bass on the lowest ones, and this is what it sounds like. Yeah, so that's your bass. Okay, so I'm going to play what we have programmed so far and then try to figure out what the bass is for this song. So I wouldn't be drawing, I wouldn't be clicking in the notes like I did for this instrument. I'll just try to record it and then go in and fix it later on. So let's try to record it. I think that sounded terrible, but it doesn't matter. We can just go in and try to fix it. So let's do that.
Okay, so now that's done. I'm going to load another sound font just below that so we can do the strings. And I found that if you choose the, you know, some kind of regular string instrument, it, it sounds good for this beat. So let's try to find the strings. There, slow strings. I think we need something that has a, a, a little better attack. Yeah, exactly. This, this sounds good. So let's try to practice first, then we record. So now I can record that and then go in and fix it later on. So let's record. <laughs> that was a mess. I'm just going to undo that and then record again. I think that sounded much better. Hmm, so let's see what it looks like. I think I'm just going to press Shift and Q to quantize everything. And let's just cross our fingers and hope that it sounds good. I think these notes sound too low, the notes at the bottom. So if I copy them and move them one octave higher, it probably will sound better. <laughs> that didn't sound better at all. Hmm, what could be the problem? I don't think it sounds very good. Maybe we can change the the instrument. That was terrible. <laughs> okay, so let's see what other instruments do we have here. Strings. So this is it testimony by p square very simple i didn't do any you know advanced programming if you want you can copy the individual instruments to different patterns and then arrange them here on the playlist or you can take time and play around with with, with your instruments to try to find the one that sounds best and also the beat has a lot of different instruments but i chose just the simple ones because um I, i'm doing this like a beginner's level tutorial yeah, so that's it for Testimony by P-Square. If you have any comments, please let me know. If you have any suggestions, let me know. If you have any questions, just ask. So, thank you. Have a nice day.